How you doing? This is Ivan with Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back with another idea to help you live more consciously. If you are a subscriber of mine and wondered where I have been for the past month, well, I was back in the States visiting my family, and it was really great to spend quality time with them. But now I am back to my home in South Korea, so I will slowly get back to making some more videos for you guys. Today's topic is on decision making. But before we get into it, I want to share a little quote by the Stoic philosopher Epictetus. The quote is, The essence of good is a certain kind of reason choice, just as the essence of evil is another kind. What about externals then? They are only the raw material for our reason choice, which finds its own good or evil in working with them. How will it find the good? not by marveling at the material. For if judgments about the material are straight that make our choices good, but if those judgments are twisted, our choices turn bad. So today I want to talk a little bit about how we can make the best choices for our life. In order to make good sound decisions, we need to become balanced and see and act from a place of presence. As I have mentioned many times on my channel, most people have their center of gravity in either their intellect, their emotions, or their bodies. And if you make decisions while solely being identified with only one of your centers, you will then be acting only with a third of your potential. Each center possesses its own unique form of intelligence. And in order to make good, sound decisions, we need to be able to access all the information that is available to us. When we learn to become more balanced in our thinking, feeling, and sensing, our centers will then be able to work more efficiently and communicate more efficiently with each other. They can work as an integrated and harmonious whole as a result of our self-development work. Whenever we need to make an important decision, it's important that we learn to become centered in our presence, in our consciousness, learning to just be our beingness. Every day, we need to make a conscious effort to remember ourselves as much as we can. Remember to not get lost in the external world. It's kind of like when you're in a dream. If you are not aware that it is a dream, if you don't remember yourself, then the dream will just carry you along with its own momentum. But if you know you are in a dream, if you remember yourself, if you remember to be consciously aware of your moment-to-moment -moment sense of being, you will then be in a lucid dream. In a lucid dream, you don't just go along with whatever is happening in the dream, reactively. You respond in a way that's in accord with your intent. Much in the same way will be your experience in our so-called waking state, inhabited by smartphone zombies. When you are able to abide in restful awareness, it means that we aren't identified with our three functions, so we are able to just witness them and allow them to do their proper job. So as we encounter the events of our lives, we can remain above our functions to stand back and then use the data they collect to make more objective, intelligent decisions. Being centered in our presence, we remain in control of our functions, but if we are too identified to our thinking, feeling, and sensing, then we are just living unconsciously and our functions are in charge of us. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's topic. If you did, please help me out by hitting the thumbs up button and subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. And don't keep me a secret, share with anyone who may find my content valuable. And if you need some helpful pointers for your journey, check out my playlist, Essential Self-Development. And if you enjoy reading, check out my website, freedomfromthemoon.com. Until the next time, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well. Take care. Peace.